Cosmic Voids The Buete's Void represents one of the most unsettling discoveries in modern astronomy. This enormous region of space spans roughly 330 million light-years in diameter, making it one of the largest known voids in the universe. Located approximately 700 million light-years from Earth, in the constellation Boetes, this cosmic emptiness contains only about 60 galaxies, where thousands should exist based on the average density of matter in the universe. The void scale becomes terrifying when you consider that if our Milky Way galaxy were placed inside it, no other galaxies would be visible for hundreds of millions of light years in every direction. To understand this emptiness, imagine standing in a vast desert where the nearest oasis is so far away that light from it takes hundreds of millions of years to reach you. Scientists believe gravitational effects during the early universe's formation created this vast emptiness by merging smaller voids together through a process called void coalescence. The Boete's void challenges our understanding of cosmic structure because such extreme emptiness shouldn't exist according to current models of how matter distributed itself after the Big Bang. The void is often called the Great Nothing due to how devoid of matter it is containing less than one-tenth the normal density of galaxies expected in such a region. The Eridanus supervoid presents an even more mysterious cosmic emptiness that spans roughly 1 billion light-years across. Located about 1.3 billion light-years away in the direction of the constellation Eridanus, this supervoid was discovered through observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang itself. What makes this void particularly unsettling is its connection to an unexplained cold spot in the cosmic microwave background, a region that appears significantly colder than the surrounding space. This cold spot suggests that photons from the Big Bang lost energy while traveling through the supervoid's gravitational field, a phenomenon called the integrated sachs wolf effect. Some scientists speculate this void could be evidence of a collision with another universe or represent physics beyond our current understanding of cosmology. Rogue planets drift through interstellar space without any parent star, creating some of the most isolated and frightening objects in the galaxy. These worlds were violently ejected from their original solar systems through gravitational interactions with larger planets, close encounters with passing stars, or the explosive death of their host star in a supernova. Without a sun's warmth, rogue planets exist in perpetual darkness, with surface temperatures plunging to minus 230 degrees Celsius or lower, approaching absolute zero in the coldest regions of space. The rogue planet CFBDSIR 2049-043, located about 100 light years away, represents this terrifying class of wandering worlds. This particular rogue planet has a mass several times that of Jupiter and drifts alone through the void with no light source to illuminate its frozen surface. These planets travel through space completely alone at speeds of tens of kilometers per second, carrying no heat source except for the faint warmth generated by radioactive decay in their cores. Scientists estimate that billions of rogue planets may exist in our galaxy alone, outnumbering stars by a significant margin creating a hidden population of dark, frozen worlds invisible to most detection methods. Stellar Graveyards The pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula represent one of space's most deceptive objects, appearing beautiful in photographs, while actually serving as a cosmic graveyard where stars are born and die in violent processes. Located 6,500 light-years from Earth, these towering columns of gas and dust stretch approximately four to five light-years in height making them larger than the distance from our sun to the nearest star. The pillars consist primarily of hydrogen gas mixed with heavier elements like carbon and oxygen, creating dense regions where gravity can collapse material into new stars. However, the same massive young stars that illuminate these structures are simultaneously destroying them through intense ultraviolet radiation and stellar winds. These newborn stars emit radiation so powerful that it heats the surrounding gas to temperatures exceeding 25,000 degrees Celsius, causing the pillars to evaporate at a rate of approximately 700 Earth masses per year. The process of photoevaporation creates ghostly finger-like projections called elephant trunks, where denser knots of material resist the stellar radiation longer than their surroundings. Scientists estimate that the pillars of creation have already been destroyed by a supernova explosion that occurred 6,000 years ago 
but the light from this destruction has not yet reached Earth due to the finite speed of light. When this light finally arrives, we will witness the violent death of one of astronomy's most iconic structures. Mysterious Signals Fast radio bursts represent some of the most enigmatic and potentially terrifying phenomena detected in modern astronomy, consisting of intense flashes of radio waves that last only milliseconds but release more energy than our sun produces in an entire day. These signals were first discovered in 2007 when astronomer Duncan Lorimer found an unusual radio pulse in archived data from the Parkes Observatory in Australia. The burst, now known as the Lorimer burst, originated from a source approximately 3 billion light years away and lasted just 5 milliseconds while releasing energy equivalent to 500 million suns. Fast radio bursts occur randomly across the sky with no predictable pattern making them impossible to anticipate or study in real time until recently. The source of these bursts remained completely unknown for over a decade, leading to speculation ranging from colliding neutron stars to alien civilizations attempting to communicate across cosmic distances. Scientists have now identified that many fast radio bursts originate from magnetars, neutron stars with magnetic fields a quadrillion times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. When these magnetars experience star quakes or magnetic field reconfigurations, they can release bursts of energy so intense that they would be detectable even if they occurred in distant galaxies. The repeating fast radio burst, known as FRB 121102, located in a galaxy 2.4 billion light years away, has produced over 1,600 individual bursts suggesting an ongoing catastrophic process that defies current understanding of stellar physics. Stellar Cannibals The Black Widow Pulsar represents one of the most terrifying stellar systems in our galaxy, where a neutron star systematically destroys its companion through intense radiation and gravitational forces. Located approximately 6,500 light-years away in the constellation Sagitta, this pulsar spins 622 times per second, while emitting beams of radiation that sweep across space like a cosmic lighthouse. The neutron star, designated PSR B1957 plus 20, has a mass 1.3 times that of our Sun, compressed into a sphere only 20 kilometers in diameter, creating gravitational forces so intense that a teaspoon of its material would weigh 6 billion tons on Earth. The pulsar's companion star, originally similar in mass to our Sun, has been stripped down to just 2% of the Sun's mass through a process called ablation, where the pulsar's intense radiation heats the companion surface to temperatures exceeding 8,000 degrees Celsius. This heating causes the companion star's outer layers to evaporate into space, creating a stream of ionized gas that the pulsar gradually consumes. The system earned its name because the pulsar behaves like a black widow spider, slowly killing and consuming its mate over millions of years. Scientists observe this cannibalistic process through eclipses that occur when the evaporating companion passes between Earth and the pulsar, temporarily blocking the pulsar's radio signals and revealing the extent of the destruction taking place. Dead Galaxies Galaxy Max 21291 represents a chilling vision of galactic death a massive collection of stars that has completely ceased forming new stellar objects and now exists as a cosmic graveyard, slowly fading into darkness. Located 10 billion light years from Earth, this galaxy appears as it existed when the universe was only 3.7 billion years old, making it one of the earliest examples of galactic death ever observed. The galaxy contains a mass equivalent to 300 billion suns, but unlike active galaxies that continuously birth new stars from clouds of gas and dust, Max 21291 exhausted its star-forming material billions of years ago. Without fresh hydrogen and helium to fuel stellar nurseries, the galaxy's existing stars are aging and dying without replacement, creating a population of increasingly dim red dwarf stars and stellar remnants. The galaxy's red color indicates that its stellar population consists primarily of old, cool stars, with surface temperatures between 3,000 and 4,000 degrees Celsius, significantly cooler than our Sun's 5,700 degree surface. Scientists estimate that within 50 billion years, all of the galaxy's stars will have evolved into white dwarfs, neutron stars, or black holes, 
leaving behind a dark collection of stellar corpses invisible to optical telescopes. This galactic death represents the ultimate fate awaiting all galaxies, including our own Milky Way, when the universe's expansion eventually disperses the gas needed for star formation and cosmic evolution grinds to a halt. Undead stars. Zombie stars represent one of the most disturbing phenomena in stellar evolution, where white dwarf stars that should remain dead forever suddenly reignite in catastrophic thermonuclear explosions that can outshine entire galaxies. These stellar undead begin as white dwarfs, the collapsed cores of sun-like stars that have exhausted their nuclear fuel and should theoretically remain inert for trillions of years. However, when a white dwarf exists in a binary system with a companion star, it can gravitationally steal hydrogen and helium from its neighbor, gradually accumulating this stolen material on its surface. When the accreted material reaches a critical mass of approximately 1.4 times the mass of our Sun, known as the Chandrasekhar limit, the white dwarf undergoes a runaway nuclear fusion reaction that completely destroys the star in a Typea supernova explosion. The explosion releases energy equivalent to 5 billion suns and can be seen from distances of billions of light years, making these zombie star detonations some of the brightest events in the universe. The supernova SN 2011 phi observed in the galaxy M101 at a distance of 21 million light-years, exemplifies this terrifying resurrection process, where temperatures during the explosion exceeded several billion degrees Celsius. What makes zombie stars particularly unsettling is their unpredictability. Astronomers cannot determine when a white dwarf will reach the critical mass needed for detonation, meaning these stellar time bombs could explode without warning after millions of years of apparent dormancy. The explosion completely vaporizes the white dwarf, leaving behind only an expanding shell of radioactive debris traveling at speeds of 10,000 kilometers per second. Supermassive black holes. Supermassive black holes represent the most terrifying gravitational monsters in the universe, with masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our sun concentrated into regions smaller than our solar system. These cosmic behemoths lurk at the centers of nearly every large galaxy, including our own Milky Way, where Sagittarius A star resides 26,000 light-years from Earth, with a mass 4.1 million times that of the Sunday. The black hole's event horizon, the point of no return, extends approximately 12 million kilometers from its center, creating a spherical region where space and time become so distorted that nothing, not even light, can escape once it crosses this boundary. Matter falling toward a supermassive black hole accelerates to significant fractions of the speed of light, heating up through friction to temperatures exceeding 100 million degrees Celsius and creating an accretion disk that glows brighter than billions of stars. The gravitational forces near these monsters are so intense that they stretch objects through a process called spaghettification, where the difference in gravitational pull between an object's head and feet becomes so extreme that it tears the object apart at the molecular level. Time dilation effects near supermassive black holes mean that an outside observer would watch someone falling toward the event horizon appear to slow down and freeze at the boundary, while the falling person experiences normal time as they cross into the unknown region where the laws of physics break down completely. Neutron stars with unimaginable power. Magnetars represent the most magnetically powerful objects in the known universe. Neutron stars with magnetic fields so intense they defy comprehension and pose existential threats across vast distances of space. These stellar remnants form when massive stars between 10 and 25 times the mass of our Sun collapse in supernova explosions, compressing their cores into spheres only 20 kilometers in diameter while retaining masses greater than our Sunday. What distinguishes magnetars from ordinary neutron stars is their magnetic field strength which reaches one quadrillion times more powerful than Earth's magnetic field and 1,000 times stronger than typical neutron stars. The magnetic field of a magnetar is so intense that it could erase every credit card on Earth from a distance of 100,000 kilometers and would be lethal to human life from 1,000 kilometers away by disrupting the electrical activity in nerve cells. These magnetic monsters experience starquakes when their crusts crack under magnetic stress releasing more energy in one-tenth of a second than our Sun produces in 100,000 years. The magnetar SGR 1806-20, located approximately 50,000 light-years from Earth, 
produced a gamma ray flare in December 2004 that temporarily blinded satellites, disrupted radio communications, and compressed Earth's magnetosphere despite the enormous distance. Magnetars rotate between once every two seconds to once every 12 seconds, much slower than typical pulsars, because their powerful magnetic fields act as cosmic breaks that gradually slow their spin over thousands of years. The surface temperature of an active magnetar can reach 10 million degrees Celsius, making it hot enough to emit X-rays and gamma rays that can sterilize planets within several light years of the source. TTON 618 TON 618 stands as one of the most terrifying objects ever discovered in the universe, a hyperluminous quasar powered by a supermassive black hole. So massive, it challenges our understanding of how such monsters can exist. Located 10.4 billion light years from Earth, this cosmic leviathan contains a black hole with a mass estimated at 66 billion times that of our Sun, making it over 15,000 times more massive than Sagittarius A star at the center of our galaxy. The black hole's event horizon extends approximately 1,300 astronomical units from its center, meaning it could contain our entire solar system out to the orbit of Pluto with room to spare for hundreds of additional solar systems. Ton 618 accretes matter at such a phenomenal rate that it consumes the equivalent of 140 Earth masses every minute, heating the infalling material to temperatures exceeding 1 billion degrees Celsius and creating an accretion disk that outshines 400 billion suns. The quasar's luminosity is so extreme that despite being located over 10 billion light years away, it can still be observed with ground-based telescopes, meaning the light we see today began its journey when the universe was less than 4 billion years old. Jets of plasma ejected from near the black hole's event horizon travel at 99% the speed of light and extend across millions of light years, carrying enough energy to sterilize entire galactic regions and prevent star formation across vast cosmic distances. The existence of Ton 618 so early in cosmic history suggests that supermassive black holes grew to incomprehensible sizes much faster than current theories predict implying feeding mechanisms and growth rates that remain completely mysterious to modern astrophysics.